Woods. He is uh, President Aerospace at Rolls Royce and Fabrice Pégier, Airbus President and CEO. And without any further ado, Mr. Akbar Hacker, I pass the word straight over to you to welcome the media we have today, over 150 media from all over the world, from Australia to Latin America, Canada, Russia, China, okay. everybody's here. All right, everybody sit down, please. Come on. Good Lord. Members of the media. Oh, please, come special on. Special guests. Good morning to you all. We have a, to interrupt you. We have a photo uh, opportunity later on uh, with the aircraft and the three gentlemen. Can we please get seated? Go away. Well, first of all, for the press that have flown specially to be here, we appreciate your presence here in Toulouse to mark this occasion not just for Qatar Airways, but for the aviation industry as a whole. After much anticipation about the A350, the day has finally come, and we are ready to take delivery of this latest generation aircraft. Today quite simply marks a design of a decade. I say this because it has forecasted that there will, be, there will not be a brand new aircraft type developed for another 10 years from now. So, it is truly a remarkable moment where Qatar Airways, Airbus and Rolls-Royce are proud to be making history. Most of, you not, most of you may not know this, but it was Qatar Airways' order for 80 of the A350 aeroplanes that actually was the foundation for launching the engineering design that led to the inception of this program. Qatar Airways was the catalyst for this new aircraft type forecasting at that time, seven years ago, when we placed the first order at the Paris Air Show, that there was significant growth ahead for the travel industry. We knew when we placed our order for 80 aircraft that air travel is on the rise and will only continue to peak. And here we are, witnessing what is truly an outstanding upward trend of double-digit growth in air traffic. And to match this, of course, we at Qatar Airways believe that the travel experience need to constantly be taken to new heights, which is what we are achieving today. Our new aircraft is truly state-of-the-art, and it is visionary in every respect, the design, the environmental impact, and the experience. Unlike any other aircraft we have in our fleet, this one was completely architected in a joint manner with Airbus right from the start, drawing parallels and innovations from the manufacturer and the operator hand in hand. This is important because we both benefit from efficiencies of engineering design that are completely consumer-led, meaning that Qatar Airways acts as an advocate for its passengers and ensures that every feature is carefully thought of. The A350 features a beautiful new design on the wing that is sharp, smooth, and flexible, all intelligently coordinated and highly ahead of the curve. Rolls-Royce has developed a brand new engine that will power the entire A350 fleet. And this engine is the world's most efficient large aero engine and emits 25% less CO2 emissions than current generation aircraft and its category. Qatar Airways is proud to be unveiling a new addition to its fleet that is dramatically more green and sensitive to the environment. Not to mention a significant reduction in noise emission. This is by far the quietest aeroplane in the industry, which is important because congestion from air travel is becoming a hotly debated topic right now, which is why we take this aircraft to London Heathrow very soon to show to the people of Britain that the industry is making concerted effort to ensure that their noise impacts are not affected by more air traffic in their skies. Technical details aside, which is important to Qatar Airways, 
is that we continue to lead the way when it comes to innovation. And we have reached the pinnacle of this mandate with the arrival of the A350 into our fleet. We look forward to our passengers experiencing the very latest in aerospace engineering. It is touching moment for the airline as we reach yet another climax, introducing three brand new aircraft types into our fleet within the last 24 months. The 787 Dreamliner, then the Airbus A380, and now the Airbus A350. Many of you have watched us grow, supported our rise from very beginning, and we would like to thank you for the continued faith in Qatar Airways. We don't become the best in the world by standing still. We keep moving, moving the goalpost, and moving our passengers to new frontiers. 17 years young, not 17 years old. 146 destinations launched, 145 aircraft in operation, 26 million passengers by the end of this year in a 12 month period and growing. Qatar Airways is just not another statistic. The arrival of A350 has been a long day coming and we intend to carry on and keep providing an unparalleled level of service in the skies because it is all about safety, excellence, and quality of service. Before I end my speech, I would li like to thank two individuals. First is Mr. Louis Galois, with whom eight years ago I sat across the table banged the table many times, and then at the end, reached the middle line, which was a win-win for both of us. Thank you very much for taking time away from your holiday to come and be with us in this historic occasion, of course, for Airbus and for Qatar Airways. And the second individual I would like to thank very much, with whom until two days ago we were having a lot of arguments because Qatar Airways quality requirements, which had nothing to do with Airbus, so he was trying to convince me that it was my BFE suppliers that are to be blamed. And this is Mr. Didier Everard, the program director for uh, Airbus, and I'm glad to, uh, to say that uh, because of this fine aeroplane that he at last delivered to Qatar Airways, that he's been promoted to be now head of programs of Airbus, so you'll have more headaches from me <laughs> from time to time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, with this, I would like to thank all of you taking this opportunity to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a very prosperous, successful 2015. Thank you. President Aerospace Rolls Royce. Good morning, uh, Your Excellency Fabrice, assembled media and industry colleagues from around the world. Today is a very special day. I'd like to start by particularly thanking Qatar Airways and Airbus for this incredible event, a landmark event in the aerospace industry. Today is the start of an exciting journey using the latest technology with Qatar Airways enhancing its reputation as a truly five-star, world-class airline. I'd like to congratulate Airbus, uh, Didier Evrard, and the team on reaching this milestone. It is an incredible engineering achievement. For Rolls-Royce, this aircraft has given us some incredible opportunities. Firstly, for our business. In pure business terms, the Trent XWB accounts for more than half of our civil aerospace order book at near some 60 billion pounds. It's given us incredible market success with more than 1,500 engines sold before entry into service. And it's allowed us to forge new partnerships, new relationships, and to deepen existing relationships with almost 40 airlines and leasing companies around the world. And it's allowed us to maintain our leading position in the wide body market with more than 50% market share. Secondly, from a skills perspective, 
We aim quite simply to make the best aero engines for our customers around the world. That was our goal when we commenced working with the team here back in 2006 to develop the Trent XWB. We've relished that challenge to make the Trent XWB the most fuel efficient large aero engine flying in the world today. And I'm proud to say that we've achieved that goal. We've developed our engineering, our project management skills. We've invested in new technology and we've improved our manufacturing processes and efficiency. This enables us to face the future with all the confidence that being at the leading edge brings. And we will take that learning forward with our advanced and ultrafan engine designs going on into the next decade. But finally, and very importantly, I would like to thank Qatar, Qatar Airways and Airbus on behalf of our people at Rolls-Royce. I think this is best exemplified by the memories of our first engine delivery for Qatar, Qatar's first A350 XWB. We decided on having a small parade through Derby before it went on its way here to Toulouse to the assembly line. I did not know, we did not know as a team, how many people would turn out to wish the engine a bon voyage, maybe just a few senior managers and the project director. But what we actually saw was some 6,000 people, our employees, the local community, who crowded our streets to cheer off the engine and the engine team along. People who are genuinely excited by technology and have a true passion for this industry and what we all do. People who appreciate the needs of customers and truly want to help them meet their goals to make their businesses the best they can be. And people who have pride in their work, care for the product, and aim to live up to our aim to be trusted to deliver excellence. I hope that gives you just some insight of what this aircraft and entry into service means with Qatar Airways and what it means to Rolls-Royce and how it's help, helped us develop, positions us today and readies us for the future. Your Excellency Fabrice, on behalf of everybody at Rolls-Royce, I offer you our best wishes for both the rest of today and your continued success in the future. Thank you very much. And now, Mr. Fabrice Pégé, President and CEO of Airbus. My dear, dear friend, Edward, dear, dear Tony, uh, good morning, everybody. Why, it's more than a great day for Airbus. Uh, I would say it's a historic day. We uh, don't deliver brand new aircraft every year. This is uh, the fifth, I think, after the F300, a F320, a F330, a F380 that we deliver in the 45 years of Airbus history. So uh, not only we deliver it, but we deliver it uh, with a very good level of maturity to uh, uh, an airline which uh, reputation is made of a very high standard of quality. And uh, we deliver it uh, when we jointly agree to do it, meaning before the end of 2014. Uh, we wanted to fly the first prototype before Paris Air Show 2013, and we did it. We wanted to certify this aircraft in uh, uh, the uh, third quarter of 2014, uh, meaning the shortest certification process in uh, the aircraft uh, history, and we did it. And we wanted to deliver this aircraft a couple of months later, and we did it. So. Uh, I, I'm very uh, pleased that we achieved that. I'm very proud of my teams. I'm very proud of everybody under the leadership of Didier who managed to uh, uh, deliver this uh, extraordinary performance during seven years. Uh, I'm, of course, uh, very happy with my partners. Uh, the first one being Rolls-Royce, who did a great job, Tony. Uh, you delivered on time a fantastic uh, engine with uh, extra growth potential, and all the resharing partners which from the very beginning have supported us in this development, which uh, you can imagine was not, was not a very smooth process. I would like also to uh, thank me uh, to be here today. Uh, when I joined Abbas, it was your fault, we. Uh, in 2006, in November 2006, and so uh, I uh, was next to you when you convinced uh, the board of EADS at that time 
that we should launch this aircraft, that it was the perfect design, the XWB, that we were targeting a market of more than 5,000 aircraft, and that we would be ready, despite our difficulties at that time, we would be ready to do a good job. So without uh, the trust you had in our teams, uh, we could have not managed to do that. Without the delegation you gave to the team, we would not be able to do that. So thank you very much for that. And of course, uh, uh, my friend Akbar, uh, you are a tough customer. Uh, you are very demanding. Uh, and uh, sometimes perhaps a little bit too demanding, <laughs> but first of all, uh, you were one of the architects of the new F-350 XWB. So without uh, these demands, we would not be here with the best aircraft in this category. Uh, second, uh, the level of, quantities, of quality you, you demand uh, means that uh, it will make our job much easier for the other customers because we have already achieved excellence from aircraft number one. And third one, you are the large customer with the biggest fleet of 80 aircraft, both uh, 37900 and 43 1000s so of a stretch version, which will bring 25% fuel burn benefit compared to the existing 777 300R. So uh, we owe you a lot on this program, and uh, I would like to personally and on behalf of my teams to congratulate you for your constant support during these seven years of development of the F-350. You always believe that we would deliver the aircraft on time and with the expected level of quality. Thank you very much. This is a, a great day with a lot of emotion for all uh, uh, the people involved in this program. And uh, I dare to say for everybody who loves uh, the commercial aviation.